hi, what is the value of x? Give me that you have 100 to the power of root x equals root of 1000 to the power of x. So now let's have it to the solution. But let us recall that when we have a to the power of root n equals a to the power of 1 divided by 2. So from here, we can have this as 100 to the power of root x equals this one. We can have it as 1000 to the power of 1 divided by 2 in parentheses to the power of x. So from here, let's record that when we have a to the power of m, so to the power of n, this will give us a to the power of m times n. So let's apply it here. We can have it to be 100 to the power of root s equal, this will be 1000 to the power of 1 times s will give us x divided by 2. Then let us recall that we can have 100 to be equals 10 times 10, which equals 10 to the power of 2. We can also have this 1000 to be equals 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 10 to the power of 3. So let's apply this one here. Let's apply this one here. So we are going to have 10 to the power of 2, then in parentheses to the power of root x equals 10 to the power of 3, then to the power of x divided by 2. So from here, let's apply this power exponential law. So here will be 10 to the power of 2 times this will give us 2 multiplied by root x equals 10 to the power of 3 times x will give us 3x, then divide by 2. Now from the law of this again, when we have a to the power of b equals a to the power of c, this implies that b equivalent to c for this expression to be equal to this. So, so far they have the same base as this. So we can also have this as 2 multiplied by root x equals 3x divided by 2. So from here we have to cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have 2 times 2 multiplied by this root x equals 3x. So from here we have 4 multiplied by root x equals 3x. So from here, let's try to eliminate this root. By taking the power of both sides, we have 4 multiplied by root x in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 3, to the, 3 multiplied by x, 3x to the power of 2. So recall that when we have a, b in parentheses to the power of 2 equals a square multiplied by b square. So this, we see the power, so we have here to be 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by root x to the power of 2 equals take it to the power of 2 multiplied by x squared. So from here, 4 to the power of 2 will give us 16. This and this we cancel. So we have 16x equals 3 to the power of 2 will give us 9. This will be 9x squared. Let's take this to the other side so we can have it as 9x squared minus 16x. Then let's set them to be equal to 0. So what is common between this and this is x. We can have x as 9x squared divided by 9x squared divided by x, we have it to be 9x minus, minus 16x divided by this, we have only 16 left, then equals 0. So x equals 0 as our first solution before. For this to be equal 0, all we have 9x minus 16 to be equal 0. So from here, we have 9x equals 16. So when we divide 2 by 9, so we're going to have x to be equals 16 divided by 9. So we have two weeks, we have two weeks solutions now where we have x equal to this and x equal to this one. So then let's check. So to check, we have 100 to the power of root s equals 1000 root of 1000.
to the power of x. Then when s equals 0, let's see, we are going to have 100 to the power of root of 0. Then it's going to give us square root of 1000 to the power of 0. So now we know that this is 0. So root of 0 will give us 0. So here will be 0, 100 to the power of 0. Then equals root of any number raised to the power 0. You give us 1. So from here, here will be 1. So any number raised to the power 0, here also will be 1. Then root 1 will give us 1. So since the left hand side and the right hand side are, right hand side are the same, s equals 0, satisfied. Then let's test for x equals this. So we are going to have 100 to the power of root of 16 divided by 9. Then it's going to give us root of 1000 to the power of 16 divided by 9. So from here we have 100. This will give us root 16 divided by root 9, then it's going to be equals. We can also have this as 1,000 to the power of 16 divided by 9 and parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 2. So from here, we have this to be 100 to the power of this will be equals 4 divided by root 9 will also give us 3, then it's going to give us this. So we can have this to be 2 here, 1, 2 in this will give us 8. So we have here to be 1000 to the power of 8 divided by 9. So from here, we can have here to be 100 to the power of 4 divided by, to the power of 4 divided by 3, then it's going to give us we can simplify this as 10 to the power of 3, then in parentheses, to the power of 8 divided by 9. So, from here we have 100 to the power of 4 divided by 3, then it's going to give us, from here, 3 here is 1, then 3 in this is 3. So we have 10 to the power of 8 divided by 3. So mind you that we can also have this as 10 to the power of 2, in parentheses, to the power of 4 divided by 3. Then it's going to give us 10 to the power of 8 divided by 3. So we can have this as 2 times 2, we give us 10, 2, 2 times 4, we give us 8 divided by 3, which will cost 10 to the power, 10 to the power of 8 divided by 3. So this satisfied. So if you are new here and find today interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more match tutorial videos. Bye-bye.